So this is one of my patients who is four years old. He has a diagnosis of spina bifida, playing there with his brother. I've been working with him since he was 14 months old. His level of spina bifida is L4, L5. Here he is walking um, without braces. And as you can see, he pronates pretty excessively with a lot of external rotation. He has the flaccid feet. He uses a lot of upper limb movement and trunk mobility to propel himself and also to maintain his balance. He has fairly good range in dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. He also has hind foot eversion range, but very minimal inversion range. He's got good forefoot mobility. We had decided to go ahead and cast him for bilateral DAFO FAs. He's had this brace previously and they've worked quite well for him. The FAs are a fixed ankle orthosis that will block the excessive dorsiflexion while preventing the semi-crouched posture. When we first had Jackson stand up on the braces, his first comment was that the braces were quite wobbly. As soon as he stood up, I had some significant concerns about the dorsiflexion angle. We had set the angle at three degrees, and then of course his mom had brought in a pair of shoes, and these were a nice pair of stride right wide style shoes. However, the last of the shoes increased the dorsiflexion to probably about seven degrees, which is creating a semi-flexed knee position for him. He's not comfortable in this position. His previous braces had been set at 90, and this was actually just a mistake on my part when filling out the order form. So we've decided to go ahead and remove the shoes and see what the angle looks like without shoes. I really wanna check and make sure that it is the dorsiflexion angle and not the heel last of the shoe. I believe it's a combination of both. Here we had him walk without the shoes and his walking was significantly improved, but again, that's with the dorsiflexion angle at three degrees. So we will actually remake the braces with a dorsiflexion angle of minus two by the time we've implemented the brace and the shoe together, that final tibial angle should be at three degrees. So here he is walking with the new braces on. He's much happier with this position. He's comfortable with this position. With the shoes and the braces, he's now at approximately a three degree angle. This is more similar to what he's had in the past. And here Jackson is walking with and without braces. You can see the two split screens. There's some nice improvement in his gait. You can see he's not using as much arm motion. He is much more stable. He uses less hip movement and swivel in his gait when he's walking. His hind foot alignment is significantly improved and you do not see the flipping of the feet because we are keeping his ankles in that fixed position for good uh, foot clearance during swing phase.